Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Renton Arb Studios Comics, and this is my review show where I talk about Kickstarters, indie comics, and stuff that I've got in my mailbox. So let's start. Here's one that I got from Kickstarter. This is called For Goodness Sakes by. Uh, it is story and art by Kaylin Smith. I've got an awesome signed copy thanks to Kickstarter. And uh, this is an awesome uh, comic about a guy named Thatcher. And he is cursed with red skin and horns. And he uh, cannot be hurt, but uh, every time he tells the story of how he got cursed, it is a different story, kind of like Joker's you want to know how I got these scars kind of riff. But this this is awesome art, and uh, the, the story won me over really quick. Um, like, I fin right after I finished reading this, uh, I jumped right onto Kickstarter because there is a Kickstarter campaign going on for the Volume 2. And I upped my uh, pledge to, so that I could get the uh, pins because, you know, I'm a collector of pins. And so as soon as I read this story, I'm like, I've got to get the pins that go along with this story because uh, this is freaking, it's an a freaking awesome story. And uh, yeah, like I was saying here, this is the story about a guy named Thatcher and he's cursed with this red skin and uh, he meets this girl named Rain spelled R-A-Y-N-E Rain Waters and uh, she's traveling by bus uh, she just recently lost her mom and uh, decided that she was going to travel the world so it's pretty good stuff um, yeah check out that awesome art it's like freaking awesome so yeah uh, for goodness sake, Volume 2 is on Kickstarter right now. Um, I loved it so much. I'm definitely getting the second volume and uh, getting the pins that go along with it. So check that out. It's got good art. Really funny banter. Um, I don't remember if it had explicit language in it, but who knows. Um, Let's see, and when I did back the first volume, I got some stickers along with it. I'm a big fan of stickers too, so if you know uh, me, that's going to end up on my laptop or something. So check it out. This is a dog named, um, oh shoot, I can't remember the dog's name right now. I think his name's Copilot. Yep, that's right. That sounds right. So, yep, and that's Thatcher right there. So those stickers, that's awesome. Um, it is on Kickstarter right now till September 3rd. So check out Kickstarter. Um, for goodness sake, Volume 2. And uh, back it so that you could get Volume 1 and 2. I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a deal on there. I'm getting pins on mine. So that's for goodness sake. Next up on my reviews is... A comic called Miskatonic High. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm a fan of Miskatonic High. And so Mike Shea, Ryan Mendoza do an awesome job on this. It is a story about a high school. And basically it is Breakfast Club meets the uh oh, shoot. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh Lovecraftian. It's Lovecraftian Breakfast Club. Um I have a poster up here somewhere of the Breakfast Club spoof looks like that right there so let's see here Miss Katonic High let me show you some art here it's got a awesome art style reminds me of Archie Comics and uh, Riverdale all that fun stuff um, got a cool color palette on it Here's some more stuff from that. Um, so obviously, I've already read all the single issues of this. Uh, this is this collects issues one through five, and I loved it so much that I got the trade. Also, I'm actually a bigger fan of trades than I am the floppy issues. So 
I always go for the trade when I can. And when it's a comic I really liked, um, even though I already bought it once in singles, I bought it again because it's so good. Um, so yeah, check out Miskatonic High. Um, there's a Kickstarter for issue 8 right now. So yeah, they're up to issue 8 already. Really good stuff. Um, here's a print that I got along with it. It's actually the same as the cover, so that's cool. That'll go up on my wall here so behind me sometime. Um, I'm still working on putting all my prints up, but it's up it's up pretty good right now. Um, yeah, I'm working on this office pretty soon. I'll have all my uh, comic books up here on the floor behind me, and I'll have a comic book rack over here. I got awesome, a lot of awesome stuff to put up. So check out Miskatonic High right now. It's on Kickstarter till September 3rd. Same as the, uh, for goodness sake, Miskatonic High issue 8. I'm sure you can get all the issues if you uh, wanted to do that. I also have, oh shoot, where did they go? I have the stickers to Miskatonic High here somewhere too, but oh well. Uh, there they are. I also got these with that book, so check that out. Miss Katonic High on Kickstarter right now till September 3rd. Back that, you will you will not be sorry because Miss Katonic High is an awesome story. It's safe for kids and uh, all that fun stuff. Next up on my list is a comic called this called uh, Steak Number One. Let's see here. Let's open that up. Stake one has words by David A. Byrne, art by Louis Bernardino, letters by Joel Rodriguez, and uh, logo design by Brian Silverbacks. And it has a backup cover, as you can see over here in my right hand, by Martina Rossi. Special thanks to Beth and Steve Kafka. They are the producers, and this is another book I got from the Kickstarter. It deals with a, uh, it is a black and white grayscale co um, color palette art style, but these guys, let's see here, throw in, find a page that has some of it on it. These guys throw in some red here and there, so it is not an entirely grayscale comic but it is an awesome comic. Uh, as you know since I write a Peter Pan the Vampire comic I am partial to vampires and so I jumped on this one I read the synopsis on their Kickstarter and uh, thought yeah I like vampires so I'll back this one. It was a good story um, it is it has language in it that is not safe for kids so uh, do be cautious about that, but if you don't worry about that kind of thing, it's it's all right. And uh, let's see, this is a story about a girl that calls herself Angel. Well, her name's Angel, and she calls herself Steak. So she hunts vampires, and ever since uh, vampires came out um, on social media's kind of like a YouTube scenario, I guess they came out on social media and uh, so she's been hunting vampires ever since then. Um, she found out her adoptive parents were actually vampires and that's one of the main one of the reasons she hunts them. Uh, I will let you read it to figure out that but I liked it and if I see a Kickstarter for issue 2 go up I think I'm going to back that also. I got a sticker on this one as well so that'll be ending up on my, my laptop not to mention I've got a print and a postcard that'll end up on the wall behind me here. So that's some cool stuff. Steak. Issue one. Um, now we are on to the Kickstarter section of my little videos here. What I currently am backing four things on Kickstarter. One is called I Am Hex number three. It is ending on August 22nd. So you better jump in on that one. It is a four part series. 
And since this is issue three, they've already got three out of four done. It is a supernatural political thriller set in Washington, D.C. It involves magic, mystery, personal drama, and an accidentally carnivorous plant. So, yeah, I back that one. I, I think it's, um... Oh, shoot. I lost my train of thought. Um, it sounded good. I read the synopsis, and it is about... Uh, witches in Washington DC and uh, how they they came out publicly and are now dealing with the uh, backlash of that since I think they came out publicly in 1960 in the story sorry and so yeah I'm back in that it ends on August 22nd check that one out I think it's uh, LGBTQ uh, based storylines too so if you're into that or cautious about that either or be warned that that is in the stories next up on my list is Pop Kill number 2 it ends on uh, August 29th on Kickstarter it is by uh, Palmiotti and Johnson it is for adults so be warned on that one also imagine a world where uh two cola companies are owned by Siamese twins who were separated and now hate each other and so they send assassins to kill each other and that's why it's called pop kill the art looks crazy amazing um, you might know Palmiotti from uh, his work on uh, Harley Quinn and so the art and the writing is going to be awesome both team, both of these people, Palmiotti and Johnson, I think, worked on Harley Quinn. So, yep, check that one out. It ends August 29th. It's on Kickstarter right now. And as I mentioned earlier, Miskatonic High number eight is on Kickstarter. Since uh, you already know what Miskatonic High is about, just check that one out by September 3rd. And for goodness sake, Volume 2 is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, check that one out. Some that I'm not backing, but uh, I thought I'd give a shout out to is Sierra Nova Comics is on Kickstarter. And, uh, oh, well, that's the only one I can remember right now that I'm not backing. I forgot to write that those down. But uh, Sierra Nova Comics is a small indie comic publishing, and uh, I just did a review for one of their comics last week, I think, um, or for two of their comics, Inc., and... Uh, Sierra Nova Chronicles. So Sierra Nova Comics on Kickstarter, it, and they are doing a, a a revamp of the issues I read. I uh, so yep, yeah, check those out. All right, now uh, last episode, my batteries died on this camera before I got to the mailbag what's in my mailbox what was in my mailbox so I have last episodes and this episode stuff to show you from the mailbox um, this probably isn't really that geeky but to me it's uh, a whole bunch of butterfly backings to those pins that I like so I prefer butterfly backings to those rubber stops but since I'm putting them in my mask uh, that r butterfly backing uh, I don't like having metal against me. It makes me break out. I'm allergic to metal. So, for while I'm wearing them in my masks during this COVID stuff, uh, I'm going to be using rubber stops. But once I get back to wearing them in my ties for church, then I'll go back to butterfly clips. All right. And since we're on the subject of pins, here's one I just got from Wish. Really cheap. This is a uh, live long and prosper symbol. Yep. And then here's one that says, I love you 3000, and it is Tony Stark's chest plate. So check that one out. I don't know if it's focusing. Eh, focus. Focus. Uh, come on. All right, well, that was cool. Yeah, I don't know if it will focus there. Come on. Nope, giving up. And here's an Iron Giant one that says, You are who you choose to be, and it shows the Iron Giant's big old mug. So, 
These are pins that I will be wearing in my face mask, in my ties once church starts back up again. And now on to comics that I've got from the mail. Here's Mr. and Mrs. X. Uh, I can't remember when this came out. Um, let's see, is there a year on here? So Mr. and Mrs. X is about the two X-Men, um, Gambit and Rogue. I had my comic shop order me this way back in oh, 2019. Okay, so it hasn't been that long. It's been a year, but still. Uh, I had them put this in my hold and it never came and never came and never came. I guess Diamond, they told me it was uh, Diamond Distributing's fault. So I finally went on to Walmart.com. I know, Walmart. Nobody likes Walmart. That is because it hurts the small uh, comic shops, but when Diamond screws over the comic shops, you gotta get them somewhere. So, Mr. and Mrs. X, that came in the mail. And Miskatonic High 7, I got three different covers. I always order two for my buddy, because I have a buddy that reads this, uh, who's not into comics, but he's into Miskatonic High. This one comes with stickers, so I'll show you those when I review. It's Katonic High 7. And I don't know which covers he'll want, so I'll let him choose. But those are some awesome Miskatonic High covers. Don't forget, Miskatonic High 8 is on Kickstarter right now. They've got some awesome covers, so check that one out. So that's Miskatonic High. Oh, and that also came with prints. So. More stuff for my wall. I don't know if I have enough wall. I'm going to run out. And this showed up in my mail. Here's the bookmark for it. This is from uh, She. This is from Comics Tribe. Uh, Tyler... Oh, shoot, I can't remember now. Tyler James at Comics Tribe. And... Oh, I know the other... Kevin... There we go. Oh, Ryan K. Lindsay and Comics Tribe. So Chris Panda is the uh, artist on this. This got a really cool cover. Check that out. I've been seeing a lot of this on Twitter where people are like, hey, look at me. I've got a helmet on. So this awesome cover is a die cut. And then you, it has a screen print paper on there. And then has that. So I can't wait to read this. This is out of the ordinary on uh, sizes too because let's see here I'll put this katonic up for scale here and as you can see there is it is a little bit bigger than a comic book. Well than traditional comic book but hey that's cool. It's hardback. It's die cut. And it's she, number one. So I can't wait to get in on that. Then I also had these show up. This is Bloodstain 1, 2, and 3 by Linda Sedgwick. Uh, this is the spouse of the creator of uh, Sunstone, which I'm a big fan of. And I read these on digitally on Free Comic Book Day. and right after reading them I immediately added it to my list of comics I wanted so now I've got Bloodstain Volume 1, 2, and 3 by Linda Sedgwick can't wait to read those they'll go in the read pile a lot of stuff going in the read pile and what else came in the mail I also ordered a Hack Slash Omnibus number one this is my first Omnibus I've ever bought but Hack Slash has been on my reading, uh, on my checklist for a while, so now I finally got some Hack Slash. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, awesome art, and uh, the few pages I've read of it, I was interested in, so added that to my poll. Now, what else have I got? I finally got more of my own comics in the mail. Um, so I got resupplied of 
issue one of Peter Pan the Vampire, Kablam Printing. You gotta check out Kablam Printing, they're awesome. And uh, so, I got new issues of that. I also got mini. I do this thing where uh, I print three minis on the side and then I cut them and restaple them and then I put them in little ball card holders. So, uh, I do owe one of these to Charlie Stickney for back in my Kickstarter and uh, I was short when it came time to mail them out. So I've got those again. Restocking up on um, my black and whites too. See, I do the uh, I do mine, uh, I have a color copy of my comics and then I also offer a cheaper black and white version so if you go on IndiePlanet.com and search for Peter Pan the Vampire you can get Peter Pan the Vampire 1, 2, and 3 in color or Peter Pan the Vampire 1, 2, and 3 in black and white grayscale for uh, cheaper so there's two different ways you can read that this is my restocking. I, I love it. Um, Kablam Printing, they are awesome. I recommend you, if you are printing your own comics, they are a good one to go through. A There's a lot of uh, print-on-demand sites out there, but Indie Planet is the only one, Kablam, Indie Planet, they're the same people. They are the only ones I know of that actually, they'll print your comics, and then they'll also sell them on IndiePlanet.com. So check out Kablam Printing. They are awesome. And go to IndiePlanet.com. They have tons of comics there. Thousands and thousands of comics you can choose from. And uh, yeah, I've picked up some awesome stuff from IndiePlanet.com um, to read. Uh, what have I got there? Um, I think I've read one called Geek Girl there. Illustrated Girl. And... Um, Oh yeah, the uh, oh, what? Raising Dion, that's a Netflix show. I got that from there. And um, uh, Space Spaceman and Bloater. Oh, I can't remember the name of that one. Yeah, I think that's right. I got that. It's from the same guy who drew uh, Raising Dion. He also drew a Spaceman and Bloater comic. It's about this alien and his weird alien dog and they go on space adventures really funny stuff colored really well too and uh, I got a kick out of it good stuff I contacted him specifically and he uh, I think his name's Jason Piper Burke if I remember right and uh, we interact every once in a while on Twitter but yeah I, I contacted him and asked him for signed copies and he sent me a PayPal invoice and I ordered them. Awesome possum and I got them. And, oh yeah, there's one more thing I got in the mail. This is a giant uh, Spider-Verse poster from my wall. So cool. I can't wait to hang that up. I got a bunch of stuff to hang up and make this office good. Bring up my comic book rack and fill it full of indie comics. All that fun stuff. So until next time, this has been Renton Arb Studios Comics. If you uh, if you want to contact me about getting Peter Pan the Vampire comics signed from me rather than getting them through Indie Planet, you can uh, email me at peterpanthevampire at yahoo.com. Or if you want me to review your comic, send me a link of the for the Kickstarter or uh, send me a digital link to it that I can read it and then maybe back it on Kickstarter. Either way, if you want me to read your comics on my uh, podcast, I, I will, uh, I'm open to that. So send me your links. I'll even, if you send me a link for a Kickstarter, I will mention it on this show. So I'm all, it's all cool. I'm all good with that. Because if I'm not sharing people's stuff, then I just, I feel bad about it. I don't know. I think it's really helpful to just let people know about it, so hit me up. I'll do it. I don't know. Now I feel like I'm rambling, so I better turn this off before it gets really awkward. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>